the most expensive BMW ever made, the most powerful M car ever made, and the first hybrid M car, but it's an SUV. BMW still claim that the XM has the coupe-ish roofline that salutes the M1 with the twin roundel badges you see etched into the rear window. You can see it's a very extreme looking SUV and BMW have gone down this route throughout the styling of the XM and make this one just that little bit extra special. The biggest talking point these days for any new BMW is the new kidney grills and on this you can see they're even more exaggerated, bigger, bolder and also illuminated. The headlights, however, are very slim, sleek, and again the proportions are all different on this, making it look very aggressive. On the side of the XM, you can see more of the M details. The coupe style is enhanced with accent band that flows around the windows, which also happen to be the darkest windows fitted to any BMW in their range. The double spoke door mirrors as standard on all M performance cars, and for the first time ever, you can see a charging flap. Keeping in line with the bold theme, the 22-inch M double-spoke alloy wheels, the design is pretty extreme and very busy, but they just look unreal. Onto the rear of the car, if you're familiar with the M performance cars, you'll be used to seeing the four exhaust tailpipes. It has its own four hexagonal, vertical, signature style tailpipes, which sounds just as good seeing it as it does actually seeing it. Inside the XM, M1 and M2 programmable buttons on the M Performance steering wheel. From the first time ever, rather than standard leather being used in the BMW, they've used exclusive vintage leather around the door cards and dashboard. The front M Performance electric seats are also very comfortable and keep you snug in a position no matter what driving mode or style you're in that day. Looking into the rear seats, BMW have called this the M Lounge. BMW have aimed towards high performance driver's car, but then on the inside feature a luxury first class interior. The first thing you notice is the illuminated textured headlining and its 3D prism structure. The back seats wrap their self around the pasture, making it very cosy. Now boot space on the XM starts off at 527 litres, but then opens up to a massive 1820 litres once the seats are folded. Enough chat now. I think we should take this for a drive. So, 4.4 litres, twin turbo V8, giving you just under 500 brake horsepower. Put the electric motor on top of that, gives you another 200 horsepower, giving you 644 horsepower on top. Isn't that good? Yes, I like it a lot. Does the car like it? Yes. Does my right foot love it? Yes. Along the road, Full sports mode is now engaged. Everything's at its maximum. From the suspension to the regen, sports plus steering, gearbox, and even the sound is enhanced. And it feels like I'm back in the M3 competition. It feels lovely. It's a little bit more aggressive. You can feel everything through the steering wheel and your bum. And that noise, that noise is just brilliant. It feels like a small sports car on this tight and twisty road. The surface is absolutely perfect, but we do get a great sensation and we can use the flappy paddles to select whatever gear we want for whatever corner and it just feels nice. It's also got gesture control so you can put music up and down with just a up or down with your hand towards the screen. Something that's very new to me, but also works a treat rather than try and find that volume control. Quick swipe of the hand and up goes the volume of your favourite pop song. Keep it in line with the tunes for your gesture control, Bowers and Wilkins sound. It, it sounds like you're at Glastonbury in here. A little bit added bass, oh, brilliant. And then you put the massage on the back of your seat and you're in ultimate relaxation mode with a little bit of nice music. Perfect. Full comfort mode for us just now and also low speed cornering where I'm gonna get the sensation that the back wheels are helping me turn around this lovely little roundabout we've got here. So as we come up towards it, the wheels should go in the opposite direction and whew, that does feel a little bit strange. Let's go round one more time because we can. The back really does want to arch out quite a lot before you come back in and then head off the roundabout. To charge this car, well the hybrid plug-in is on the passenger side, the flap opens nice and easily 
and it takes you around about 4.2 hours to charge it up on AC power only. It doesn't charge on DC power. And you can also drive it on electric only range. And what do you think your mileage is for electric only range? What do you think? What do you think? Well, I'll tell you, 55 miles for pure electric. Now that's not bad when you consider pure electric power is taking 2.7 tons of BMW's finest along the road. I want to know what you guys think about the styling of this because it is something completely different that BMW it's in an area where they haven't gone before. I like it. I like how it's different. I like how the grills in the front have got different slats and it's facing different angles. It does look a little bit more unique than any other BMW has done in the past. Comments in the box below. Let us know. What do you think? Have BMW got a thumbs up for the XM or are you a little bit here with the styling of it? Trust me, once you drive the car, that shaky thumb will be an upwards one. The question comes, who is the XM for? Who is it targeted at? Well, it's probably targeted at somebody who can A, afford it, B, want it, and it's maybe for that petrol head who's had the performance cars, the low-slung performance cars, and they're looking to get something a bit different, but still have that performance. The BMW XM range starts at around about £148,000, so it depends on which one you want. There is a red label version that's coming out as well, limited to 500 only. But starting at £148,000, nice. We've come from the busy roads, through the motorways, we've been through a town centre as well, and this thing is just great fun to drive. So we decided to stop in for a little spot of lunch and a nice country retreat. But what do you think of the car? Do you like it as much as I like it? I can't pick up very many negatives at all about the car, and I want to know what you guys think. So in the comments box below, let us know what you think. And remember, like and subscribe to the Arnold Clark YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. I've been Duncan Vincent and I am in love with the BMW XM. Are you?